This video was possible thanks to request like Zavin Rendez. I do hope I pronounced that correctly, and I will be honest, I was a bit reluctant to do this video, as I felt that I had portrayed this character rather well. A little over 95% accurate. But after going over the original build, I did see that I missed out on some very important pieces of lore. Not to mention that that original video had some audio issues, so I decided to go ahead with this viewer request. So, Savan, I hope you enjoy today's video. Shall we begin again? Greetings, my dear viewers. I am Drehan, and welcome back to Dungeons & Dragons Character Conversion Reloaded, where we take a look at some of my older builds and rebuild them using newer character options or newer lore that was released for these characters. And today we are taking a look once again at the Planeswalker from Naya Allah, a Johnny Goldmane. Starting things off with our stats, let's go ahead and get right into the build. Strength and Charisma will be 14, Dexterity will be 12, Constitution will be a 13, with Intelligence and Wisdom following up in the rear at 10. Our race of choice is going to be Leonin, even though Ajani is classified as a Naktal on his home plane, he closely resembles the Leonin from Theros. Since he is going to be a Leonin, we are going to increase our Constitution by 1 and our Charisma by 2, using the rules from Chaucer's Cauldron of Everything. Our starting speed is going to be 35 feet. We're going to get access to Dark Vision for 60 feet. A Claw Attack that does 1d4 plus our Strength modifier in damage. We also get a Skill Proficiency in Perception as well as Daunting Roar. And for languages, we get access to Common and Leonin. Like I mentioned, he is classified as a Noctal. And he is also a pariah of his pride. The only one who actually accepted him was his brother and the pride's shaman. The reason for his outcast uh, title is because of his fur color, and that's really it. He is classified as being as white as death. The only reason his pride didn't kick him out is because of his exceptionally good ability to heal. You see, he's able to tap into the souls of other beings to heal their body. Which is pretty useful ability. And is one of the reasons why his pride did come to quote unquote accept him, but Johnny doesn't mind. He just sees himself as another member of the pride, but only because he is useful to them. He doesn't actually seek his pride's approval. But everything changed during the murder of Ajani's brother. After his brother was murdered, Ajani's planeswalker spark ignited giving us the background from Planeswalkers of Ravnica, the Planeswalker. This will give us proficiency in Arcana and Survival, 
as well as one musical instrument or one gaming set of choice, as well as proficiency in one language of choice. I would recommend going with Elven, as Johnny has communicated with elves in the past. And even one of his quote-unquote followers is an elf. You also get the feature Planeswalker Spark, which gives you access to a fourth level spell that can also be found in Planeswalkers of Ravnica. We are going mostly with the white aligned mana, but we also can go with green aligned or red aligned mana. Though in the end, Ajani is allied with both white and green mana. So these are going to be the spells that you will most likely be using to add to your spell lists. Another background that you could use is the Uthgat tribe member, giving you proficiencies in athletics and survival, one musical instrument or one artisan tool of choice, one language of choice, of course going with Elven once again, with the feature of Uthgat heritage. Ajani is one of the few planeswalkers to retain their spark, after the invasion of Phyrexia. And he is actually one of the planeswalkers who also had gotten completed and used by the Phyrexians as a tool of invasion. But after he was quote-unquote cured of his completion, he still retained his spark and journeyed the planes to make amends. And if you go with the Uthgar tribe member, I do recommend taking on the feat of the uh, magic Initiate, if your Dungeon Master allows you to take a first level feat, much like some backgrounds allow you to do. And I would recommend picking Druid. This is to go with his healing capabilities. You'll get access to the cantrips of Guidance and Primal Savagery with the first level spell of Cure Wounds. Moving on to our class, we are going to pick a Barbarian. You don't technically need this class in this build, but I thought it would fit since Johnny doesn't really wear armor, except during his Phyrexian transformation. He is mostly unarmored. You'll get a hit dice of 1d12 with starting hit points of 12 plus your constitution modifier. Hit points at higher levels is equal to 1d12 plus your constitution modifier per barbarian level. You also get proficiencies in light armor, medium armor, and shields, simple and martial weapons, strength and constitution saving throws, as well as the skills of intimidation and nature. You also get access to Rage and Unarmored Defense, which works perfectly for Johnny. Going straight into our multi-class, we are going with the Paladin. This will give us a 1d10 hit die, an extra hit points equal to 1d10, plus our constitution modifier per Paladin level. We also get access to Divine Sense and Lay on Hands. Divine Sense also works well with that ability that Ajani innately had before gaining his Planeswalker Spark. <clears throat> Unique among his kin, not only his bone white fur, but also due to his unique abilities to manipulate the various magics of the soul. He could see deep into other beings and see the very essence of their spirits. He could call forth this essence and manifest it in a multitude of ways, and despite his pariah status, was considered the best healer of his tribe. Ajani's original incarnation during design 
was a white aligned paladin. This is why we are going with the paladin class as well, but also because of something else that happens during a Jani story. At level 2 Paladin, we have two options for a fighting style. The first is the Blessed Warrior, while the second option is Dueling. While I do recommend going with the Blessed Warrior for this build, I thought that I would at least mention Dueling, since we have seen Ajani use a shield in the past. But I'm going with Blessed Warrior, using the cantrips of Sacred Flame and Word of Radiance, because of something that we'll be cover covering later in this build. We also get access to spell casting using our Charisma Modifier and the Divine Smite ability. Now, let us travel to Zarkon Volsplain and learn how to tap into our Red Mana and tap in to our inner rage. At third level Paladin, we get access to Divine Health, Harness Divine Power, and our Sacred Oath, the Oath of Vengeance. After the death of Ajani's brother, Ajani sought vengeance and was angered for most of his adventuring career. The Oath of Vengeance gives us access to the Oath spells Bane and Hunter's Mark, with Channel Divinity of Abjure Enemy and Vow of Imbity. At level 4, we are going to get an ability score increase in Dexterity, making it a 14. Now, I do want to talk about Ajani's Axe. When he returned to his plane, he added the axe head of his brother's axe to his own, making it similar to a double-bladed mm -hmm. scimitar, which is something I would recommend using the statistics of for a Johnny's weapon. as we have seen Ajani use both hands when wielding this weapon. Moving on to 5th level Paladin, we're going to get access to Extra Attack, and our Oath spells are going to be Hold, Person, and Misty Step. At level 6, we get access to Aura of Protection, and level 7, we get access to Relentless Avenger. Level 8, we are going to get access to Great Weapon Master, since we are wielding a two-handed weapon. This is actually perfect for our fighting capabilities. Go ahead and meet up with the second planeswalker of our journey, Elspeth, to learn how to let go of our anger. We don't fully let go of our anger just yet, but we are slowly starting to realize that anger might not be the only way to seek out justice. Moving on to level 11. Not the level. Moving on to level 9, we are going to get access to the oath spells of counterspell and non detection. At level 10, we get access to the Paladin feature Aura of Courage. At level 11, we are improving our Divine Smite. And now at level 12, we face off against Nico Bolas for the first time. And we also get to find our brother's killer. Go ahead and increase your strength to a level 16. And after facing off against Nico Bolas, even though we did find our brother's killer, we were unable to take vengeance for ourselves. But we did manage to stop Nico Bolas' plans, which is where we le reach level 13 Paladin, giving us access to the Oath Spells of Banishment and Dimension Door in which we use the spell Banishment 
to banish Nicobolus from the plane. But like I said, we were not able to realize our vengeance, and we are now feeling without purpose. Going on to level 14, let's go ahead and gain access to Cleansing Touch. And let's go ahead and meet up with Elspeth once again to, according to the story, repay our debt to her. And while we do leave Elspeth for a time, we still follow after her after realizing that we still need to repay our debts and we feel that Elspeth herself is going on a bit of a self-destructive path. And upon realizing our new role in the universe, we are going to be changing our sacred oath to the Oath of the Watchers. And at level 15, we have the following abilities from Oath of the Watchers. Our Oath spells being Alarm, Detect Magic, Moonbeam, See Invisibility, Counterspell, Non-Detection, Aura of Purity, and Banishment. Our channel divinity is Watcher's Will and Abjure the Extra Planar. We also gain access to Aura of the Sentinel and Vigilant Rebuke. And some of these features reflect Ajani's story so far, teaming up with Elspeth in Theros to fight against the gods. We even take down a mighty beast known as the God Sire. Moving on to level 16, we are going to increase our charisma by two points as we finish our crusade against the gods of Theros. However, we have lost a dear friend at this point. Elspeth was killed by the Theros god Heliod. And before we leave the plane of Theros, we go to the Leonin and other members of Theros and tell how the gods are only beings kept on this plane by belief, and we tell of our story about how Heliod killed our friend. We then go off to another plane to mourn her death with another one of our plane's walker friends. Moving on to level 17, we are going to get the Oath spells of Hold, Monster, and Scrying. We are now heading off to Keladesh in search of the Planeswalker Tezzeret to bring him to justice. We end up meeting up with Chandra Nala and help her reunite with her mother, and we end up joining the Gate Watch. Another reference made with our new oath, the Oath of the Watchers. Skipping to level 19, for the end of our build, we are going to increase our strength to 8. We have joined the Gate Watch and are fighting against Nicobolus, and we have also fought against the Phyrexians, both losing and ending up fighting the Phyrexian invasion in the end. While this is the end of the build, it is not the end of the video, as we do have some spells. We are going to be using some of the green aligned spells in this spell list in the form of conjure animals. Now, a lot of Ajani's cards do have him summoning cat tokens, 
while it would seem that this means that Ajani is summoning more Noctal or Leonin, a lot of these cat tokens are literal cats. So we are going to be referencing both sides of the cat token card by having the spell Conjure Animals, but also the spell Assemble the Legion, which can be found in Planeswalkers of Ravnica. For our spell choice, we are going to get access to Bless, Cure Wounds, and Purify Food and Drink for our first level, Aid, Lesser Restoration, Prayer of Healing, and Zone of Truth at second level, Conjure Animals, Assemble the Legion, and Spirit Shroud for third. <coughs> at fourth, we're going with Find Greater Steed, which is going to be a griffin and Locate Creature. We're also going to get access to the spell Summon Celestial at 5th level. And with that being said, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comments section who you would like to see next. And until next time, this has been Drehan, and I am offline.